How's it going, fighters? Welcome to Moss. It's a VR platformer puzzle style game involving this cute little mouse thing, and I don't know anything else about it. So we're going to jump into this and just uh, kind of experience it fresh together. Uh, it seems like it's got a lot of fantasy elements and storybook type uh, uh, elements to it. Hence, you'll, you'll see in just a moment. But uh, thanks for joining us for this. Let's jump on in. Okay, here we are. Uh, the first thing we kind of see here is the storybook says Moss on it. These visuals are some of the best I think I've seen in VR. This is freaking gorgeous. And I've got these little orb hands. I'm feeling it. I just hit the mic. I'm so sorry. Are, are we okay, Mike? I think we're okay. Mike? Yes. Mike says we're fine. Sorry, Mike. Uh, it does glowy things when I touch it. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Okay, so we have a butterfly. And it's doing st stuff. Okay. I, I can't interact with it. Oh, that was just like the map. Your time has come at last. Ooh. Hello, dear. lady. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. Huh. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Uh, can we not? I'm kidding. Let's, uh, let's do it. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Huh. I, every time I put this damn headset on, my face gets itchy. Um, okay. Turn page. First. They killed the king. Aww. A winged creature broke Aww. from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the That's serpent horrifying. Sarbog and the armies That's of the Arcane king. tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. Huh. The, the glass guard relics. fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences this on is that really fated cool. night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic. To challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. That little squirrel is a squirrel. Oh, they're riding them. Argus charged back to join huh. the sprite champion at the Myers edge. Together, they fought back the arcane and sealed the temple passage that led to the clearing. But the champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. Oh boy. I wasn't fully ready for that. Okay. Let's see where we're going. 
That oh. hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. This is awesome. Quill oh was God. out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just Look a little at her. farther. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my god. About to punch a bird up in here. Stuff reacts to me. I can't reach that far. The animation is gorgeous. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Oh, hey. It can see me. She can had to see hurry. me. The village gates would soon close. I love it. And night would follow. I have a face. Uh, this is fantastic. The animation is so good. Oh my god, look at it! Oh, I can rub her little head. I'm sorry, I'm so excited by this. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, and then I think I can, yeah, go over here. See, this game has been on my radar for a long time now, and I just haven't taken the time to, like, get into it yet. But this is just the best. You don't think about experiences like this when you think about VR, but, like, Night. this Your is impressive. Warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Okay. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Um. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I'm sorry. Don't die. I think you're gonna die. You didn't die. Hey, you're alive. I thought I did a bad. Okay, right, jump. We're gonna move that back over. Huh. Oh. Okay. And then move it back again. I don't know if you can see my hands, but these little blue things are it. So if you ever see those, that's that's what's going on there. The little parkour skills. I love it. Found a thing. And in we go. What am I hearing here? Here. I'm going to make sure I'm centered here. Um, 
and okay sorry itchy nose this is gonna plague me the entire time vr every single time i love this we got a little village here something of the lights <gasps> I have a little sword this is legit you break all the little things come closer I want to see like this action Someone put a lot of love into this. This is insanity. Okay. So I think I gotta get up here. I also gotta get this damn cable out of my way. Okay, we're good. Go up. And we got another one of these scroll things. I have no idea what they're about. I don't think I can get up there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I see. Oh. It's an NPC. No, I don't want to... I just hit the mic again. I'm sorry, Mike. Hi. They seem chill. I wasn't sure if there were gonna be other like NPCs in here or not. Oh, there I am. This is, oh my gosh. Like, I've just never seen anything like this in VR. Like, the closest thing I've experienced like this in VR is um, Super Lucky Cell. And it's, it's not quite what this is. We're in this little village and I love it so much. And I want to live here. Hello. Aww. I was hoping it would wave back. She would wave back. Uh, let's see. How do I. Oh! Okay, I see. That felt sketchy. And jump. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. And... Oh. I goof. Okay. Let's try this again. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Up. Oh. There we go. Get on up there, buddy. What do we got? I still don't know what that is. But we're getting them, damn it. Let's see. Oh. Your typical video game balancing. Oh. That's helpful. It lets you kind of see across. Alright. We got to stop this, I assume. There we go. So that you can pull this. Or attempt. There we go. Hey, let the Thanks bridge down. Oh, Bill shoot. Had saved priceless grains from the hour I'm left. so sorry. I, I hope that's all that person had to say. Okay, we're through. 
She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once <gasps> he saw her discovery, he would lose at himself it. in tales of its legend. It's a school. I love schools. They're so cute. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Quill, okay. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't Aww. mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Okay, let's see. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? She asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Just a broken glass. Throw it away. Where did you find this? Roared I cut uncle my foot Argus. on this last time I went Quill to the had beach. Never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Oh. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you. Here. Right now. Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. Of course it is. great concern. If I could is... take this burden from you, I would. Is he blind in one but eye? this reader has chosen the reader i'm a reader those of what i've been picking up this tapestry or this like like stained glass i wonder if that has anything to do with anything in here so i'm the Even reader the moon full and bright i must go right away quill pressed where are you going i can help we can help no he snapped they'll find you and tear you apart i have to go alone it is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Huh. I'll be back before midnight. Until <laughs> I return, I, I want to ride a squirrel. I will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. Oh, we are absolutely <sighs> leaving. She said reluctantly. Wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. And we're back. Well, kind of. Hey, look at this. This is amazing. I'm glad I'm experiencing this after getting a Rift S with a higher resolution. Hey, kid. Kid. Wake up. Hey, kid. Over here. <laughs> I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. I don't Bring trust that this. Glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. I'm a sidekick, apparently. Quill called out. Hey, Starling, wait! Huh. Quill had never met a Starling. In campfire stories, they often oh. meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Oh. There we go. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Yeah. Tell us what you know. The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Wait. I probably need to wait to do that. Or do I? Um. Is 
There we go. And we're through. I think I'm going to have to pull that one back. We'll go ahead and start that. Nope, that was close. Alright, we pull this one forward again. I can get behind these puzzles. I hope these get... I mean, of course they're going to get more difficult. This, this is like you. early, early Earth's stuff. Starting. Yeah, I don't... Don't forget to tuck your ears in. I don't like the trust... I don't like, I don't like the look of it. <laughs> and... We're going on in. Where are we ending up? Oh my god! That is fantastic! It's kind of easy to forget that we're looking at like... Like everything is like relative to our size. And so those things look relative to my size. I'm so, like I keep saying it, but I'm impressed. Very, very impressed. This is an ax. Did you see that? Okay. I. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That was the saddest thing I'll see all day. I'm a murderer. Well, I mean, only kind of. Can I move these? No. There we go. There it is. Oh, wait. Okay, I bet. There's some way through this. Yeah, I can break these. Neat. Oh my god. I did not notice that there. I about shit myself. Oh, it's a little vi like battle helmet. Not viking, I guess, but... Okay, so I've got to get this little thing. Oh, so let's go around here and just want to hit all the branches. It's so cute. Look at her. Little tummy. Oh, look, look at it! <laughs> I love it so much. That is the cutest thing in the world. And I will fight you over that. Oh, uh, okay. Whoever that was got stabbed to hell. What was that? A shoulder? No, that's a chest piece, I think. Yeah. Because there's the helmet. Just on the other side is the mire. The starling oh. assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. It's her uncle's squirrel thing, I think. It's not a squirrel thing. It's definitely just a squirrel. Whoop. And off we go. I'm sure this is going to be sufficiently horrible. Horrifying. How far did we just float? Did you hear that? The starling seemed anxious. 
I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. I'll try. I love all these rusted swords and whatnot. I just said I wasn't gonna do that. No, we're fine. That is awesome. I didn't know if there was anything there or not. All right, let's go on through. Here we are. Huh. Okay. We can't get through that way. But I can do this. That is so cool. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You come here. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Mean old thorns. All right, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Can I drop? Yes. Okay. I definitely can't do anything about that. Huh. I'm wondering, is there any reason for me to go that way? Rude. Oh crap, nope, I'm dead. Huh. It really would seem that that's the direction I need to go, but I guess not. Oh. I see. I just did things a little bit the wrong way. That's all. So I got a shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. And drop. I didn't realize I could cross through that. I don't think there's any uh, scrolls here. Well, of course. I'm going to take my shortcut this time. Nope. Keep going. Come on. And down. My shortcut didn't work. I'm lost. I'm never getting out of here. I suck. Okay. And. There we are. There we go. Let's see. Oh, hello. Our first actual fight.
That's awesome. Oh, it's mechanical. I like dodge through it. Heal. Any more? No, we got it. Nice. I want to high five you. We'll give you a little pet for. You did good. You did good. I'm sorry. You're going to see a lot of me, like, gushing over. You just floated in the air, my little friend. A whisper echoed through the okay. trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. Hey. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. Wow. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. Clearly. I like that everything freezes to she let me know I can turn. Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Rootseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, okay, give sit us down. Our glass. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Huh. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Oh. My bad. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Huh. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who Ooh. died so that your people could live. Will felt its otherworldly power course through Ooh. her. Find your uncle twofold before the serpent and its masters break him. Oh, that's awesome. The warrior fumed. Our glass with her? Rootseer, she's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Veda replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. That's crazy. I think uh, this is where I'm going to leave this uh, for now. Uh, I'm going to do more of these. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the way I kind of want to uh, schedule these uploads. If we want to do them all back to back or if I want to do like one of these every two days or something like that and just kind of stagger some we'll figure it out it's okay i don't know if i'm looking at the camera i'd probably look like a dummy but i'm not taking this off until i'm done sue me okay anyway thanks for hanging out guys uh i appreciate you being here remember to hit that like button if you haven't already and you enjoyed yourself hit that sub button if you haven't already and i would like to see more content and if you would like to see our live streams i am live Basically every night, unless I say otherwise, at 10.30 Central Standard Time, every night, twitch.tv slash prizefighter4. That's prizefighter, IV, Roman numeral. Uh, same as it is here on YouTube. And uh, we'd love to see you come hang out with us. 
Either way, take it easy, fighters. Have a good night.